At time zero, the highlighted cell is burning, this one here. Create an equation to calculate the probability that a fire will spread to cell A, this one here, after four hours. Now the challenge of this question is that you have to read all the other pages. Based off this scenario, we understand that fire every two hours can spread in any direction. It can spread anywhere around the center point. Another two hours later, it can spread another layer, even diagonally. So now that we know that it takes two hours to spread one jump, four hours actually means two possible jumps later. To go from this fire to point A, it must go this way, that's one jump, and then this way again. There's no roundabout way because it can't catch on fire sideways. It has to go diagonally and diagonally. It's a direct path. It's the only way we can reach within four hours. So, and then we have to calculate the probability of this cell catching on fire, which is number one, and we have to pay attention to the other data sheet. One represents a 50% chance. 50% chance is gonna be 0.5. And as for cell with the number two, the data sheet says this means 80% chance or 0.8. And we learn in math class that in order for two things to happen, this and this, the word and means we multiply. We multiply the two probabilities. And just out of curiosity, 0.5 multiplied by 0.8 is 0.4 or 0 0.40, which is 40%. There's a 40% chance that this fire will spread to this A cell.